today's video, I have a list of my five favorite Gen 1 glitches. All right, let's go! In number five, the Evolution Stone glitch. This one's not so useful, but it is interesting. Today we're going to use a onyx as a water stone. What do I mean by that? We are going to evolve a star you without a water stone. The same thing can be done with a cider for a fire stone and a grow life for a thunderstone. Here's what we need to do. Enter a battle with a star you. It needs to level up and you need an onyx to finish the battle. What happens after the battle is over? The star you evolves. Look at that. And this is how Onyx replaces a water stone. Number four, the Pewter Gym Skip glitch. Okay, so we still don't have the first badge, but we're gonna do this. Open the menu and put the cursor over save. This is important because it's gonna be frozen later. Okay, this is the annoying guy that is trying to take you to Brock's gym. Go past him, close the dialogue with B, immediately save the game. Now he's gonna try to take you to Brock's gym, but you reset the game. And when you come back from the reset, he's gonna glitch out. He's gonna glitch out and he's gonna leave you alone. So yeah, it's possible to skip Brock's gym with a glitch. Number 3. The Missing No Glitch, perhaps the most famous glitch of all gaming, of all time. You know how to Missing No? You need to talk to the old man in Viridian. And then you need to fly. Cinnabar is a good place for this. Just surf up and down on this border between land and water. You're gonna find some weird Pokemon. Their level's over 100. But you may also find missing no. If you do, the sixth item of your inventory is gonna increase by 120 something. Yeah, look at that. Let's toss a bunch of those. We still have a lot. So this is how you missing no. Number two, the bike flips glitch. This is perhaps the most awesome. Go into the safari zone, then immediately try to leave. This guy will ask you if you're leaving early. Tell him no. Save and reset the game. Now, when you try to exit the safari zone again, he thinks you're trying to enter it. Tell him no again. You now left, but the game thinks you're still at the safari. Make sure the step counter runs out when you're spinning. This way you'll be spinning forever. Isn't that cool? Look at the bike. Look at the awesome bike flips. And number one, I don't think it's actually close, the trainer fly glitch. This glitch lets you capture any Pokemon in the game. It also lets you battle Professor Oak. I'm gonna have to do a video about this someday. Today we're going to capture a Mew. We need a trainer just outside the screen, like this one on Route 24 by Cerulean. Walk towards the trainer, then immediately open the menu and fly away. The game is now glitched, and we need to fight a specific Pokémon, a level 17 Slowpoke. Have this youngster challenge you. You cannot just talk to him. He needs to walk towards you, otherwise the game is gonna freeze. If you lose, that's okay. If you win, fly away. Back to Cerulean. What happens when you go back to Nugget Bridge? The menu opens, close the menu, and there it is, a wild Mew. And what do you think? What are your favorite glitches? Leave a comment down below. Consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next video. Okay, bye now.